I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed, you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village, based on what I know today. I think she was a Danegad. She told me her name, Arelwin, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were a mere child, so I gave it to Mrs. Desade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Nords can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Nords record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Yes. All this is so new to me. But I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? To New Serene, please. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the Guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. 
You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. I have come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships, from a native captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions, and our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tierfredi who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral? Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Whether or not we choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. Thank the Enlightened that a captain who took part in these expeditions is right here on the island. It is indeed a stroke of luck. I hope he remembers my mother. Do not worry. If his memory fails him, he may have kept his diary from that time. Hello there. My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. I am Captain Lissandro. Pleased to meet you. I don't believe I've had the pleasure before. Yet your face seems familiar. How odd. Well, what can I do for you? Admiral Cabral advised me to speak to you about a matter of some concern to me. The Admiral? Coming from a legate, I should have expected that. So? You're the only one on this island that can help me. Really? Oh, I think I understand. That's why your face looked familiar. The congregation is good at keeping its secrets, isn't it? This story is not a new one. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years since the Noughts brought a woman who was captured on this island to Serene. I remember, and yet it wasn't the first time. But on that occasion, a child was born. So you can understand why we'd like to learn where this captive came from. Yes, yes. I have seen more than a few noughts looking for their parents. But what have you got to do with all this? I met that woman in Serene. I got to know her... well. Listen, it's not that I don't want to help you, but my memory is no longer what it was. I wasn't the captain at the time. I wasn't the one who decided where we moored the ship. So I don't see how I can help you find out where this woman came from. From one captain to another, if you would allow me. Captain Vasco? 
I'm listening. You said it yourself. A child was born at that particular time. A seaborn. And we always help one of our own. Very well. I need to look in my old logbooks. I'm sure I'll find something. Wait for me here. I'll be an hour at the most. Here it is. I found my old logbook. There's a passage in it that would probably interest you. Your mother came from a village on the plains in the southeast of the island. I'm talking about a place where the bones of the whale are visible from the coast. I believe the natives call it Vignamri. Thank you for this information, Captain. It's nothing. I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Good luck to you. So here you are on the verge of discovering your mother's village, of finding your own people. How do you feel? I don't really know. I'm a little lost, I suppose. All of this is so new to me. I understand. Mrs. Desade was loving. She raised you with tenderness. And today you learn she is not your real mother. I'm sorry.
Nurti Dumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face, and it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I recently found out that my mother came from your village. Your mother was from Vignamri? Now I understand why your face seems so familiar to me. Indeed. She was captured before my birth and sent to the continent. She was called Arelwyn. Did you know her? Of course. Everyone here remembers her kidnapping. Could you tell me more about that? I was not the head of the clan back then. It was a very long time ago, but I remember the village the Nagad. Kidnapped by the people of the sea, all our warriors set off to her rescue. But it was all in vain. Most of them died, including the one she loved. It was a dark day, in which our village lost its knowledge and strength in one blow. So my father died too. Do you know if any members of my family are still alive? Yes. Slan, your mother's sister. She then became our Donegad. She was never able to match her sister's talent. Too much knowledge had been lost. Relwyn was a renowned healer across all of Tiafradi. Taking her place was not an easy task. It's not surprising that she was of interest to the congregation. They probably hoped she could help them find a cure for the Malachor. But all alone, far from the island, she was just a young, frightened woman who had lost all her powers. Do you know where I can find my aunt? You could try her house, but she's rarely there. She is an elderly woman now, and very much enjoys her own company. She doesn't speak much to me, but others here can probably tell you where to find her. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? What can you tell me about your village? Vignamri means the king's bones. It is a very ancient village. It used to be one of the largest on this island, before the people of the sea tried to take Tiafradi from us. Some battles took place very close to here. Legend has it that this is the place where the first guardian fell and that this is the reason why our village was given its name. After the battles came the abductions and the ransacking. People used to disappear frequently. We were taught to be cursed. But I changed all of that, and I gave our clan its prosperity back. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. What do you think of the chief of your village? He seems quite friendly, compared to the others we've run into. A bit too friendly, if you ask me. A little too concerned with pleasing the settlers. And do you think that's a bad thing? He reminds me of myself when I was younger. And that's not a compliment. My fear is that he serves his own ambition. And this is often done at the expense of others. There's no one here. Let's go and ask the inhabitants of the village if they know where to find her. The islanders protect their Donegad. I don't know if they'll speak to some Renai. Don't forget, you are one of them after all. Hello. Renaikse. Do you need help, Renaikse? Actually, yes. I am looking for the village Donegad. Oh. 
And what do you want from her? Ulan told me that she... ...could help me to find someone. <laughs> Ulan must have wanted to play a dirty trick on you. There's no love loss between Ulan and the Denegad. She says that he loves the people from your island too much. But Ulan saved our village. Anyway, if you want to find her, try heading towards the Western Plains. I am not sure if she is there right now, but she likes going for walks there. I am extremely grateful. surrounded by animals. It looks like she may be in danger. Let's go and help. Maybe in life and protect me from this you for stepping in. I don't understand what has happened. Usually these animals accept me. Something must have frightened them. We are glad we arrived at the right time. We would have been very upset if something had happened to you. Excuse me, but are you Slan, the Donegad of Vignamri? Yes, that's me. Were you looking for me? Yes, we were. If you would allow us, we'd like to accompany you and tell our story along the way. Very well. I will walk by your side. This is the story we have pieced together. I... I just can't believe it. Yet, if I think about it, your face reminds me of hers. My mother, or better, the woman who raised me, gave me this necklace. A Relwyn gave it to me, to give to her child, and I passed it on to Mrs. Desade. It looks familiar. Your father had given it to your mother when they bound. It's good that you are wearing it today. My poor beloved Relwyn. You died far away from us all, and divorced Tierse. I still miss her so much. I... She wanted me to help her die. But I was unable to do such a thing. Someone would have figured it out. I would have been sent back to Tuleme, and I would have lost everything. So I watched her suffer. 
And one day she died. Petrus, I cannot hold it against you for letting her live. No, you don't understand. I loved her. I loved her and I didn't even have the strength to end her suffering. She's the only woman I've ever loved. I... I never would have guessed. Everyone loved Darelwyn. She was marvelous. You cannot blame yourself, man of the light. What's more, you brought me her child. For that alone, she would forgive you if she were among us. All is well now. The child of Tiafradi has returned home, and with him, the spirit of his mother. You are home, my Dukteram. Welcome. Petrus, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Despite everything you know about me? You may have been a bit cowardly in the past, to the point of letting the woman you loved suffer. You were manipulative, and you lied to everyone, including yourself. But, thanks to what you've told me, I've been able to find my family and my origins. And for that, I thank you. My child, what you're saying touches me more than you can imagine. At least I've done something good for once in my deceitful life. For you, and for her. I hope the Enlightened will remember this when I stand before him.